That's wild that they whipped everybody up into a fervor about that. People didn't even know what transgender was five years ago. They're like, something new, not on my watch. They're just fucking mad about it. But yeah, they're going crazy. They're boycotting everything, saying everything's turning people gay. The, tar the Target one's the big one. I don't understand that boycott, because initially I thought it was over like Gay Pride Month, but Target's done Gay Pride forever. And then I looked into it more, and the conservatives are boycotting Target because of something called tuck-friendly bathing suits. <laughs> Did you see that, that they're mad at tuck-friendly bathing suits? And that kind of shocked me, because I'm like, what the fuck is a tuck-friendly bathing suit? <laughs> like, do I just have the smallest dick in the entire world? <laughs> that I can't imagine I would have a problem hiding my penis in a regular <laughs> women's bathing I've never looked at a woman's bathing suit and been like, yeah, no chance, dude, no way. <laughs> Yeah, not gonna happen. <laughs> and then apparently they're for children also. I can understand why they're mad. If I was in Target and I heard a lady being like, excuse me, my son's dick is too big for the bathing suit. <laughs> She'd be like, I'm never coming back to this fucking store again. <laughs> I'm going back to GameStop where I belong. <laughs> yeah, my son's penis, it's hanging out of the back. It's coming out. <laughs> it's, it's snaked around to the top, my son's giant penis but yeah I don't understand transphobia you know and I, I say I don't understand transphobia and it sounds like I'm coming from a place of moral high ground but really I just I don't understand it like uh, like as an abstraction like on a conceptual level you know like in the same way that I don't really understand gravity <laughs> you're like you can explain it to me but like I don't like what is gravity like fat people just have a secret energy that for some reason the earth is like, that's the one, give me, I want his, I want his power, give it to me. And then the moon comes by and he's like, ah, we meet again. And then they fight over him. And then somehow that's how women have periods is how with gravity. And I guess, yeah, transphobia, same thing. Cause I'll be honest with you, I kind of don't even really understand what a trans person is anymore. And I mean, I try to keep up. I try to be progressive and like read the definitions, but there's too many syllables. I don't know what you're saying. I'm an idiot. I have to understand things in simple terms, right? And in basic terms, what is a trans person? Somebody that's so disappointed by their genitals that they're suicidal? <laughs> Isn't that just fucking everybody in the world? Isn't that everybody? Every person that's ever lived? If I think about the amount of times in my life I've looked at my dick and said, ah, fuck it, maybe I'll just kill myself. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just end it right now. And now they got a parade for guys like me? Great, I'll take that. You can keep the bathing suit, but I'll take that parade, pal. Now they're passing all these laws, these anti-trans laws. And it's weird, too, because none of them are consistent, right? Like, they each have a different fucked up law. Like, Tennessee will be like, they're not allowed to eat rich crackers anymore. We're taking that away. That's the Tennessee move, I guess. But... Yeah, they all got them. North Carolina was the first. They passed the first anti-trans bill, HB2, which banned trans people from every bathroom, which that seems like the worst option, probably. <laughs> They're gonna go to the bathroom somewhere, right? I was like, now every time you step in dog shit in North Carolina, you gotta be like, oh, I hope that was a dog. I hope that was a dog. This is maybe a Great Dane. It has that kind of give to it. <laughs> Maybe it was Beethoven and not, and not a very angry lady, hopefully.